So about six months ago, I posted a video about the bikes and setups that people brought on an overnight bikepacking trip that we organized for Radical Adventure Riders in Atlanta. This is part two of that video, and I will put the first part up here and in the description below. We recently went on an overnight bike camping trip, and I wanted to highlight some of the really interesting setups that people brought on the trip. Now, if you don't know what RAR is, it's an organization that promotes gender and racial inclusivity within the cycling community. And I help run the Atlanta chapter of that organization. We host monthly rides and happy hours, Skillshare classes. We also organize bikepacking trips and here in Atlanta for the Atlanta chapter, we also started a gear library where anyone who's part of our community can borrow bikes and gear and bags for their bike camping adventures. I've done a whole video about the gear library. If you're interested in the concept, I'll put that video here and I'll link in the description below a couple of articles about how we built the gear library. So for this most recent trip, we went out to Covington, Georgia, which is east of Atlanta, and we did a 15-ish mile ride to a farming co-op called Love is Love Farms. It was a really fun time. They let us camp on their property and they gave us a tour of the farm. It's like an all organic farm. I know literally nothing about farming, but I found it super delightful to walk through the property and see how they are growing all of the things. I can't keep my plants alive. And so I really appreciate people who do stuff like this. So um, it was really cool. It was really, really cool. So there were about 12 of us on the trip and there are some really interesting setups from people who were already experienced with bike camping and also people who had never really done it before and ended up borrowing a lot of stuff from the gear library so that they could join us for our trip. In the library, we have a few bikes and we have enough gear at this point to outfit several full rigs along with some of the camping gear, not everything, but we had a couple of people borrow those bikes and use everything from the gear library. So this person, for example, is riding a Diamondback Hanjo. They're running a Bags by Bird Goldback in the front, an Apadura frame pack, and an Ace Pack top tube bag, along with an REI saddle bag. Another person was riding a Diamondback Hanjo and they also are running a Bags by Bird frame bag as well as a front bag. They also brought their own saddle bag, which had some tools and stuff for small repairs. Now for these trips, we do have a support vehicle, which is so nice, highly recommend. So for those of us who could not fit everything on our bikes, we can just throw the rest into the car and the car just meets us at the campsite. And it's really nice. It's a really nice way to introduce bike packing to people who are really interested in it, but just don't either have all the gear or just don't have quite the right gear for bike packing. It just allows the entire trip to be a little bit easier, especially for people with little to no experience. So some people also came with their own setups. So this bike belongs to my friend Devin, who is the chapter lead for RAR and who started the uh, who started the Atlanta chapter in the first place a couple of years ago. And she's riding a Bike Friday folding gravel bike. It was made custom for her and on it she's running a bag Bags by Bird gold bag, as well as a 40 ounce crusher stem bag from a local bag maker called the Spindle. Another cool bike setup that was on this trip is a specialized tricross. They're running a chrome front bag and the frame bag and seat bag are again from the spindle and they have a rock bros top tube bag for snacks and a rogue panda bismarck bottle bucket at the stem on the fork you can see that they are running salsa everything cages with the with their tent and sleeping bag inside and the, all of that is packed into sea to summit dry bags a couple of people on this trip decided to run a rear rack with panniers this is kind of more traditional setup, I suppose, and it's a great setup for commuting. I think it can work for bike packing a lot of the times as well, and it certainly worked for these guys. So this person was riding a Salsa Journeyman with a few panniers on the back. Then someone else is riding a Surly Straggler with some Ortlia panniers in the back, and then their tent strapped to the handlebars. One person rode an old GT mountain bike. This is one of my favorite setups of this video. They outfitted their rig with a Swift Industries handlebar bag, a couple of 40 ounce crushers from the spindle, an old RAL or RAL, RAL 
frame bag from the gear library and an Ortlia saddle bag in the rear. So for my own rig, I rode my Crespombora and for bags, I used my trusty Bags by Bird gold back. I do want to note that a lot of us do have Bags by Bird bags on these bikes and that's because Jay Ritchie who runs Bags by Bird used to live in Atlanta and he's also donated a number of bags to the gear library and they're also great bags. In the back of my saddle, my saddle, my saddle bag, <laughs> I'm running a Caradice long flap. This is a bag that I used to use commuting and I haven't had the heart to get rid of it because I've used it so much. And it's also just such a solid bag. It's 23 liters and it fits a lot of stuff. I can also remove it really easily with a quick, uh, like a quick release kind of thing. It also has a strap so that I can take it off and carry it with, around with me if I really wanted to, but that's like for commuting and not necessarily for bikepacking. I was also running a makeshifter stem bag uh, just to throw my phone and a couple of snacks in. Now I fit what I could in those two bags and I put everything else in the support vehicle because why carry all of that weight when you don't have to? So these are some more rigs of RAR. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that this inspires you on your next trip or maybe gives you some ideas of different kinds of bikepacking setups. If you are thinking about changing your setup or always just looking for inspiration. I hope you guys found this video at the very least entertaining and I will see you next week.